Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, download and install Apache NetBeans uh, uh, IDE and also how to uh, download and set up JDK or Java uh, Development Kit also how to download and set up the uh, Java FX on Apache uh, NetBeans. So I'm going to start with uh, downloading the Apache NetBeans so if you on Google just search for Apache NetBeans download so you're going to be directed or uh, you're going to be shown the probably uh, one of the very first uh, results uh, the NetBeans uh, website or you can just again type this address here so uh, netbeans.apache.org slash uh, download slash index.html so at the uh, time of recording this video uh, the latest version is Apache uh, NetBeans uh, 14 uh, but it should be very straightforward and very similar uh, to download uh, maybe a newer version uh, anytime that you're watching this video so click on download here uh, we're, we're gonna we are seeing the like the different uh, like the versions uh, one for the Windows uh, like the 64 uh, bytes version also for the Linux uh, and also for the uh, Macintosh or the Mac OS uh, like the systems so uh, I'm using the you know a Mac uh, system here also, we're going to download the uh, JDK here. I'm using the Adoptium JDK the, uh, version. So uh, if you again click on, or uh, if you search on Google for Adoptium JDK, and uh, the very first links will be uh, the link to the Adoptium.net. So when you click on that, uh, you can just, uh, you know, find the latest, uh, like the uh, long-term support version, the LTS uh, release one. Uh, if you're uh, you want to download other platforms and versions, also uh, you can click on this one. So you can you can choose the you know the proper operating system you're looking for, the architecture you know x64 or x86 uh, or some others. Also the JDK uh, or the JRE Java Virtual um, uh, Java Runtime Environment or the JDK, which is a Java Development Kit. Uh, you know usually uh, we might want like to uh, download the uh, like the JDK rather than just having the uh, Java runtime environment. So uh, at the time of uh, recording this video again, uh, the list, latest uh, long-term long support uh, version is uh, 17, so you can uh, download the one. But here uh, it already knows which version I'm going to use, uh, so you can, you can just uh, use the Mac. I'm using Mac, so uh, version 17.0.3 will be the one to uh, download now let's see that how we can install uh, JDK so here I'm using or installing the JDK on uh, Mac systems but again uh, should be very similar on other uh, operating system so uh, when you uh, you know open the uh, the package or the uh, installation file uh, probably gonna show up uh, the very similar window I'm going to click on continue here just the license you know if you want to read uh, the license in different languages and you just uh, continue so if you want to agree with that uh, that in which case uh, you know our example we're gonna actually agree and then you can just change an installation uh, location of the uh, you know JDK but I'm gonna just uh, click on install so uh, something that also I need to mention especially for those that are uh, installing JDK on uh, Windows systems uh, if uh, it gives you an option to choose the packages, make sure to or the uh, uh, you know the installation options. Make sure to click on uh, the option that says um, uh, like the set Java Home. Uh, I might uh, create another video to show uh, you know uh, the installation better on the Windows machines. But if you're watching this video, if and there is an option for setting Java Home, make sure to check that one because that's gonna just uh, and make uh, things much easier and without like the further actions for setting the Java home for uh, you know for the a lot of softwares uh, like the NetBeans that you want to use. Now let's see that how we can download Apache NetBeans uh, version for, uh, 14. So again it's very straightforward uh, on Mac so you first continue you read the license again we need to agree if you wanted to install this one uh, you can again change an uh, installation location or uh, do some customization or we're going to go all with default uh, and it's going to be very straightforward and easy so just uh, as uh, simple as that you can just install Apache NetBeans uh, Net version uh, 14 or any other version 
Uh, uh, after this, I'm going to explain, uh, I'm going to show you how to also set up the Java FX on uh, Apache Admins version 14, uh, which uses uh, JDK version uh, 17 as the uh, required JDK. Now let's uh, download the Java FX. So on Google, you can again search for Java FX download. Uh, the very first two links, uh, you know, will guide you to the uh, website to download uh, Java FX. So the very first one actually will lead to the second one, uh, like the link that I showed you. So if you uh, click on the first one and then click on download, you will, uh, you know, will be guided to the second link that we had. So. Uh, I'm just going to search, uh, go back again. This is the website that when you click on this one will be guided to, to so the same uh, web page. Uh, at the time of recording this video, the very latest version, the long term support one is version 17. Uh, but you need to make sure that uh, you know which uh, like the uh, version is available for you to download. For example, uh, the long term support version 17, and I chose uh, Mac OS. Here um, there is no uh, like the link to download, so I'm gonna you know I have to choose another uh, one. For example, version 18.01. But if you can't find uh, like the uh, latest uh, long-term support version, uh, version, so it's better to stick with that one. So I'm gonna choose the Macintosh here, and I'm gonna choose the SDK uh, just to have everything here, and I'm gonna uh, click on uh, this one that is more. Uh, suitable for the architecture of my uh, Macintosh. But again, for, if you're using Windows, uh, you know, uh, make sure that you're downloading the latest version. So I'm going to make sure that for the Windows we have here. Uh, so there is nothing here. So let's just see if you can find the version 18.0 for the Windows as well. And yes, yeah, so we have like the version 18. And again, you can just the SDK and choose uh, between any of these two, depending on if you're using x64 or 8 x86 uh, so going back to version 18 and also the Mac and I will, I will be with you shortly after the downloading this uh, file now we have opened uh, Apache NetBeans uh, version 14 and we're going to see that how we can uh, you know uh, set up the Java FX on that uh, so make sure to unzip uh, the uh, the zip file or the uh, compress fi file, the JavaFX. Uh, so if you go to the tools and then go to the tool library, that's where we're gonna like to set up the JavaFX. So tools, and then to the libraries, and here uh, uh, on this panel that we have here, if there is already a JavaFX, you can remove it. You can just rename it, or uh, you know if it doesn't exist, we're gonna click on the uh, new library here. And we're gonna just type Java and FX. So okay. So here, uh, either on the sources or the class path, you can just uh, click on the add uh, jar or the folder to uh, add all the jar files of um, you know the libraries of the Java FX that we just uh, downloaded. And I'm gonna uh, just show you uh, you know shortly how it can be done. Here is the uh, folder JavaFX SDK version 18 uh, that I have downloaded and also I unzipped that one. So as you, uh, as you see, there is a library folder, uh, uh, the legal folder, uh, folder and also the uh, the source uh, zip file. We uh, don't want to like to deal with that one. We don't need that one. We only the only uh, thing that we need here is the library folder that uh, includes the uh, like the required uh, jar files. Uh, in order to set up uh, JavaFX, so make sure you know where exactly are the these uh, JavaFX uh, like the jar files, because we need that address in order to add uh, to add them uh, to the JavaFX uh, library. So by clicking on add jar or uh, slash folder, okay, you can just find where the or you can just go to where the uh, like the jar files are located. Here's uh, where my files are located again. Uh, it might be in other folders, or you want like to move them to a better folder. I just was uh, for the uh, you know sake of like the showing how it works. I just put them you know uh, in just a download folder. So uh, you are selecting all of them uh, by you know using Control A, and then you can click on Add a Jar Folder, uh, Jar Slash Folder. So we're gonna just make sure that we have uh, selected all the 
uh, jar files so you can click on them and you see all of them have been uh, added to uh, here so when we are done we're going to press ok and it's going to add uh, like a javafx uh, to the list of libraries available in uh, netbeans but we're going to see that how we can actually set up a project that uh, uses the javafx as a library because by default the javafx will not be added as the library uh, you know unlike the jdk that you know for any uh, projects we can just use it without being uh, you know uh, without the need to do it manually here we need to do it manually and i'm going to show it uh, how it works uh, you know just a few moments so uh, on NetBeans version 14, after uh, adding the libraries, uh, you know, the uh, JavaFX to the libraries, uh, we're going to create a project. So after uh, adding the JavaFX uh, to the libraries, uh, we're going to create a project. So you can click uh, on File, New Project, or you can click on here. So here uh, we're going to uh, use the Java with and, so that's going to be uh, the, uh, the type of like the project we're going to create the JavaFX. So Java with and and here on the project uh, click on the java application so next uh, you can just choose uh, any name for example uh, java fx uh, test project something like that and then you can press or click on finish so here is just a default uh, class created by the netbeans so what i'm going to do i'm going to add the java fx to the library so right click on the pro like the project and then click on properties and click on the libraries so uh, you need to add the uh, the J, uh, Jeff, uh, JavaFX uh, like to two places, one during the compile and one during the runtime. So for the compile, uh, click on uh, the class path and here uh, click on add library and choose JavaFX and then press add library. And then click on the run tab here and on the module uh, path, this one click on this plus uh, button here the add library and then click on JavaFX and add uh, library. So we're not done yet. Uh, we also need uh, during the run, uh, like we're saying that the virtual machine option. So we need to add these modules to the uh, during the runtime. So add uh, dash dash add dash uh, modules and then we need to write JavaFX dot uh, controls because that's probably most of the things we're going to use. If you're using any other uh, libraries of uh, JavaFX, make sure to add it by, uh, you know, so by, you know, and separating them by comma. So here we're uh, gonna just do some tests uh, like add modules uh, JavaFX dot controls, and you're just using very simple, uh, you know, uh, uh, examples, and then press or click on OK. So we here we have the very first class created, and I'm gonna show you the actual code and how. Uh, you know we can actually test it to make sure it works properly so uh, I added this code to the uh, to our uh, project to our uh, main class uh, here uh, which is uh, you know the start method of the JavaFX applications so we just create the group and scene and you can just you know use the you know see this code and then just the launch method that has been called inside the main method so when you uh, call uh, or you know, actually run this uh, uh, project, uh, a window like this will uh, appear. A yeah, window like this uses a simple JavaFX application and this is a very uh, yellowish rectangle that we just created uh, and just to show that how uh, JavaFX uh, uh, version 18 can be installed and set up on the Apache NetBeans uh, version 14 uh, using the JDK version 17.